Hello there. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God even better in the mighty name of Jesus. My heart is so heavy with this prophetic word because I do not really understand why someone or a group of persons will agree so much to do evil. When the Lord dropped this word in my spirit and I was pained by it, like it grieved my heart. And God began to tell me that even two enemies can come together to harm their enemy. Even two enemies People do not agree. People who are not together, they can come together to inflict harm on one person. As long as they have a common goal to hurt, to inflict pain, they can agree just for that moment to disagree later. And God says to someone, you're watching me, there's been a conspiracy against you. People have gathered and they have a sole intention to destroy you their intention is to cause you pain i mean i might not even understand the extent the extent to which that goes but these people are not blabbing they are not playing they will stop at nothing until they see that you are down they will stop at nothing until they see you beg and cry in a state where you are helpless when this word came to me the lord led me to the book of acts chapter 23 acts chapter 23 we're going to be reading from um, from 12 to 17 the story of paul the bible says the next morning some 40 or more of the Jews got together and bound themselves by a curse. 40 people. It was not just one, two, three. They did not have any misunderstanding while they were about to do it because they were consumed by their hate for Paul. Probably some of them, they had issues among themselves, but they set that aside because they had a goal. They had an intention to cause pain. They said they will not eat or drink. Let's read, let's read. Born themselves by a curse, neither to eat nor drink until they had killed Paul. That was their goal, to have Paul killed. Verse 14 says, Then they went to the chief priests and elders and told them, what they had done asked the commander to bring paul back to the council again they requested pretend you want to ask a few more questions we will kill him on the way they had everything planned out and they even went to the to their head the leader and told him about their conspiracy told him about their plans and they said please just help us ex execute this just have Paul to come here. Pretend as though you want to ask him more questions. And when, once he's here, we'll kill him. But thank God. Thank God who neither sleeps nor slumber. Thank God who does not, you know, remove his gaze from us even in, in one second. Thank God that is faithful in protecting and shielding us. Verse 16 says, but Paul's nephew got wind of their plan and came to the armory and told Paul. Paul called one of the one of the officers and said, take this boy to the commander. He has something important to tell him. So the officer did, explaining, Paul, the prisoner called me over and asked me to bring this young man to you to tell you something. The commander took the boy by the hand and leading him aside asked, what is it that you want to tell me the boy says tomorrow he told him the jews are going to ask you to bring paul before the council again pretending they want to get some more information but don't do it there are more than 40 men hiding along the road ready to jump him and kill him they have borne themselves under a curse to neither eat nor drink 
till he is dead. Thank God the nephew heard about their plans. And that is how their plans got aborted. I want to pray for someone. You are watching me right now and there is a conspiracy against you. People are coming together with the sole purpose or intention of ruining your life. You might know it. You might not know it. Maybe you perceive that there's a kind of evil going on around you and you've not placed your finger on it. I want to pray. The same way God delivered Paul from the hands of these 40 Jews, may God deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Everyone that is under a conspiracy, wherever they have come together and the sole purpose of their coming together is to harm you, May the Lord frustrate their plans in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they shall gather. But because the gathering is not of God, it shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Ah, The Bible says they shall come in one way, but they shall flee in several ways. I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever their plans are, whatsoever their intentions are, however they want to execute their evil plans against you. May the Lord frustrate it in the mighty name of Jesus. I place people, angels in vital parts, in vital places that they will be able to hear their plans. Not only would the Lord frustrate it, but you will get to hear about the evil they had planned for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord frustrate their plans the same way God frustrated the counsel of Ahithophel over the life of David. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every evil guardian and every evil plan against your life. May the Lord frustrate in the mighty name of Jesus. They will watch you come out of every trap they have set for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will watch you come out of every every disaster they are hoping it will occur. You will come out untouched in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you receive the word and the prayers with gladness? If you did and you feel like maybe this was for, for you somehow, just go ahead and, and, and write in the comment section your how you feel about it if this is a confirmation and i mean just tell me what's up how you connect to this prayer and i pray that god will frustrate the plan of the enemy over your life in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in jesus mighty name amen